Hi friends, I hope you are all doing well as we continue through Lent and learn more about Jesus and his sacrificing love. So, the characters of our story this week are us. We are the reason why Jesus came to earth and offered up himself as the Lamb of God. Isaiah 53 is an amazing chapter in the Old Testament. Make sure you read the whole chapter for yourself. Verse 6 says, We all, like sheep, have gone astray, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. In other words, we sin. Jesus died for us. The chapter continues by saying that he was willing to pay the price that the law demanded, his death for our lives. But our story isn't just that, as God's dearly loved sheep. Not only is Jesus the Lamb of God, he is also our good shepherd. We are like sheep in that we don't always make good choices and we often get in trouble. Just like sheep, we need a shepherd, someone to take care of us, love us, and to save us from our bad choices, also known as sin. Jesus is that shepherd. In John 10, verse 14, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd and I lay down my life for the sheep. Only a shepherd who really loves his sheep would do that. And Jesus did. He died on the cross and rose again so that he could claim us as his own. This is one of my all-time favorite pictures. It shows a very loving shepherd holding a lamb. And the lamb's face says it all. No matter what I do, I am loved and content in the arms of my shepherd. And do you see the shepherd's hand? The mark of the nail, the ultimate sign of his love. So now we sing verse three of the lamb, especially remembering the words, as wayward sheep their shepherd kill, so still his will on our behalf the law to fill. The Lamb, the Lamb, as wayward sheep their shepherd kill, so still his will on our behalf the law to fill. Worthy is the Lamb whose death makes us his own. The Lamb is reigning on his throne. Our Bible story next week will help direct our attention and our hearts to the events of Holy Week. See you then.